Lori Popal here. Today we're going to work on a new project. I call this particular design a windmill egg. It's a beautiful design that I think you'll enjoy. As you can see, I have started with all my base lines. I've also added my diagonal lines. Now I want to find the midway mark from the center to the sides. So I can measure this or I can just guesstimate here from here to here from here to here. So I will be making tick marks all around and on each side. Now that I found the middle of this area, I will also half from the center to this line and make my tick marks. And when I'm done with this, I will then go from this line to the side line and make my tick marks in the middle here. Now we will be going from the middle and dividing up all the way to the side line. We will do this in each panel each panel and on both sides. And it should look like this after we have finished these lines. Now we decide if we want to take our designs and make them even smaller. To do that we would start putting our tick marks again in between. So this would make this area smaller. We, and again, we would do this on both sides. I will start in this area. And as you can see, this area is rather small to do too much work in, but I will start with making a circle in the middle. From there, I'm going to go in each one of these little panels and I'm going to find a halfway mark So with these markings, I will then connect my tick marks and this here forms these shapes. Here I'm continuing with my tick marks, dividing the little panels in half and I will do each panel. Here you can see all my tick marks are made and the reason I've made them is to be able to know where I'm going with my design 
and this is what I wanted to do. So with each tick mark, I'll turn it around again, I just connected here to here and I so that I don't lose my spot I just go around and around until I get all of them done now I do this in the filming to show you how it's done but when I'm actually working on my eggs I don't do all these pencil marks you can do them, but it, it's a lot of work. And in time, you'll be able to just eyeball and, and guesstimate where the middle marks are. And you would just take your Kiska and just put a little dot of wax in these areas and then just connect. Also, with all the pencil marks, as you can see, the egg does get smudgy. Okay, as you can see, I have all my designs set up. Now, in each panel, I will be working with finding the halfway marks. Now, this is too small for me to really show you, so I'm going to show you on paper. So this will be one of the little panels. So I'm going to find the halfway mark. And I'll be putting a wax line here. And again, I want to have this area and this area. So I will be putting a mark here and here. Also, I want to do this way. So I will have all these little blocks. This here will be in each one of these. I'm going to try and show you Now this will be done in each one of these squares or uh, diamond shapes. It depends on how you hold the egg to see what it looks like. But this is what we're going to do on this egg. It's time for me to begin my waxing. I'm going to wax in all my white lines. I will continue until all these lines are finished on both sides. All my white lines are waxed in. Now we have the egg all cleaned off. All those extra guideline pencil marks are cleaned off and all the smudging is cleaned off. This here is a good time. To look at your egg and your waxing and to make sure all your wax lines are still there. As you can see, I have a few here that did come off while, while I was cleaning. So we will put them back. And now it's time to start my work in each one of these little panels. We're going to go one way and then the other. We will do this on each and every one and on both sides of the egg. 
I have waxed in all my white lines on both sides. Now I have to decide if I'm just going to leave all these little squares, all these little spaces empty, or shall I put little white dots here? Right now, because the egg is white, if I put wax marks in each block, I will have white dots. Or maybe I would want to put black dots. Here's an egg with yellow and black dots. Now this shows the spaces have black dots. When it comes to dyeing the egg, you can use one of these little makeup brushes and dip it in your dye and just apply the dye into the little square here. Let it sit. So this here area all around will be yellow. After we have dyed all these areas yellow, then we will wax over the yellow area to protect it from other dyes. Then again, there's the old-fashioned way of just dipping the egg into the dyes. You can do this either uh, in a container or you can use a Ziploc uh, baggie. As you can see, I decided not to put any white, yellow, or black dots in my um, little squares. What I have found sometimes we can put too much detail. And when there is too much, sometimes it can't really be seen. And what I'm showing you now is that I have waxed in all the areas that I want this color. This color is a gold color. Now it's time to start dyeing my egg and waxing in the different colors. Just finished waxing in all the green areas. Now for our next color. At this time, I've waxed in all my white areas and the gold and the greens and navy blues. I will clean these dyes off and then I will start putting it in orange and reds. As you can see, this little spot here, I lost my place where I was waxing, and I waxed in an area that I didn't want to be waxed. So in order to correct that, I used a razor and just scratched up all that wax that I had put in there. Okay, now to continue with, with my cleaning of the dyes off the egg and, and to start dyeing my oranges and reds. All the fun work is finished. Now I need to varnish my egg. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos. Visit my website at lauripopal.com. Hugs!